All right, so here's what I'm doing. I am trying to cut something out that's really small and really detailed. Um, so we're gonna see how it works. All right, so that's what we just got done picking. So I'm gonna transfer this right now to one of these plates. Uh, but I first have to put some reflective material on that plate. All right, now, because I'm working with some tight quarters here, believe it or not, uh, I have just about a quarter of an inch on each end. So I want to make sure that, one, this stuff doesn't wrinkle. And uh, if I have to lift it, it's not going to just stick to it. Here we go. So I'm just going to kind of spray that a little bit. Because when I squeegee it, I can squeegee all that right off. So it'll actually help. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do this with a... Well, I might be able to. Yeah, that would be too easy. So I want to wipe out because I want to get rid of any excess water. And air. So we'll just do that. And now I'll use this just to kind of putz with it a little bit. And actually there's a little water that came out when I was coming near the edges. So that kind of helps take the schmutz off too. When I mean schmutz, what I meant was a, a little adhesive from the red. <laughs> So now this is reflective, meaning if the lights shine on it, it'll reflect like like a highway sign. So it's thicker. As is this. This is also reflective. So I just got to cut that up a little bit because, uh, and again, this isn't the way you would normally do this. You would normally have it lay out and you'd have everything ready to go. Uh, it wouldn't be uh, all over the place like I have it now. I got some mail going out, by the way, guys. Um, and this would be, be done more organized. Uh, so I wouldn't have to go through all this, but an idea to do them both at the same time. But when I start using scrap paper, scrap vinyl, sometimes you end up doing a little bit more work. So now I gotta put the transfer on here. So let me get the transfer paper. Now there's two types of transfer paper that I told you about. Uh, I'm gonna use the clear only because I like it. Uh, where can I do it? I can't do it there. Uh, I'll do it over here for now, I guess. They have a, a milky white, like a buff color too, but uh, it's okay. But if you're going to be doing overlays, sometimes it's a pain in the ass. If you're going to use that one and you're going to do overlays and you haven't got a backlight, you know, or something, uh, it's one of those things to where... Uh, You gotta make sure you do your measurements because that's basically what you're gonna be going by. Uh, so let's see if this comes off here like I want it to. It does. And uh, let me see. This is going to be. Uh, do I want here or there? Uh, I think I'm gonna put it here. I gotta make sure. Now I don't care too much about if it's even top to bottom, but I want to make sure it's not 
canted in any way. Ta-da! Now I bought this uh, reflective material, both the white and the red, uh, recently, like, what, a month ago? So it should be fresh, but you don't know how long it's actually been sitting in the warehouse. But uh, okay, in this case it's okay. But like I said, vinyl usually sticks to vinyl really good, so you don't normally have too much of a problem this way. Here we go. Now I don't want to use the, the plastic, I want to use the, the felt. First I'm just going to rub it, I'm not going to go nuts, I want to make sure it doesn't catch anywhere. Because if I start going like this with it and it catches, I'm going to yank it right off. So, I will take bigger bites out of it in a minute. Now I'm rubbing from the center out only on this part because it's small and if I rub this way it's a strong possibility I'll lift the end up on it. Now when you're laying it, you're laying it from the end but when you're doing it after you've done this, this is what you do. So that's that. So those are both reflective. Now I still have to... Yeah, okay. I still have to do a little center logo in here. I think I'm just going to put a fire hat in the middle, uh, I guess, because I don't feel like doing crosses, you know, the crossed axes and with the fire cap. I don't want to get that detailed on it. Uh, so that's fine. I may, like I say, I'll put the fire hat here, and then over here I can put down fire police, and then I can put this in the window, or whoever wants one, they can put it in the window uh, of their vehicle when they're going someplace or on scene. So, and that's that. So I gotta do another one for the other car and uh, we'll see what happens. But meanwhile, that's where we're at. I know you guys are gonna get sick of this after a while, trust me. I won't do it all the time. I'll just every now and then I'll show you something if I'm doing it and I think it uh, might be entertaining. So let me close this, so that's done. I want to save that. So let's see. I want to save it. Now I have one here saying FP or FP test. So I'm going to make this FP test one. Because this your way, it's the one I say prior when I was picking that one apart and redoing it. And save this one. Okay. So that's done. All right. But there's the plate so far. And uh, that's where we're at.